Okay, taking a rest back in the shelter and uh, judging by the amount of dry grass around here, I don't think it's a good idea to have, uh, have a fire with or without uh, rocks. So instead, what I have to show you is my conduit stove. Got this on my, on my YouTube channel as it were. This was a build and I call it my firebox. So, <clears throat> What I've done is bought a brought a big large slab of uh, rock in here. And this is your <clears throat> kind of like your fondue or sterno can. So this is a multi-fuel stove. So this stove actually is two conduit boxes. There is a face plate with some holes drilled in. You can see that. Drilled in top. And that's a, I think that's a face plate or the backer plate of a conduit box and I've got some coat hanger bent over there to act as as grill now the two boxes themselves slide apart look at that okay air damper holes those that's where the conduit goes in it even comes with those screws and now this is a conduit box extension. Here's the conduit box itself. Normally you're fixed onto the wall like this, but it also has the punch outs that I've punched just halfway in. Now what I did do was I cut the wall, same as this side, cut the wall down and hammered it flat. Now, when that's laying flat, I also made a little tin, I guess, a little steel ashtray. And that fits right in the bottom. So we're going to try to find a level surface to start. Oh, that feels, that feels pretty good. Now with the extension, the conduit box extension, it has the slots in the bottom. That just matches up over top and slides right together. I thought that was pretty slick. Okay, now this is a multi-fuel stove because when we put that on there like so, okay, we can also, okay, drop our tin cup on there, a frying pan, a larger pot on the top and being multi-fuel we have the fuel from the bottom okay there we go it sits on the bottom like so or without that stove in there separate it here always fun to do with one hand. There we go. Without that stove in there and the two pieces together. Now it becomes your standard stick and twig fed stove. And once going we feed the sticks in through the bottom. And all that heat just circulates up right up through the top. And acts really, really good. Does a really good job. And because it compact and so you know it collapses down, and the thing's nearly bulletproof. So we're gonna get that fired up and uh, and boil this water so I can have a, a cup of tea. Maybe I can go find some pine needles or cedars. Well, shelter set up, and as I was saying before, it's always a good idea. To make use of found items along the way you never know when you're going to need them with everything built all i want to do is sit down and have a have a tea but got nothing but hot water so i have to walk back to uh the swamp area here where i can find some cedars i think that'll be the flavor of the evening peepers have started you hear the frogs 
and uh, I think the shelter's shelter's ready. Um, looking forward to the looking forward to the evening. I got uh, good sleeping bags, and uh, just want to be able to get in and get out without getting soaked wet feet. It's going to be a challenge. But I want to be all set pretty soon, so when it does get dark, I don't have uh, much of a flashlight. I'll be, I'll be good just to get settled in, and relaxed, and uh, listen to some nature as I drift off to sleep. But first, the tea. I think the cedar tree is right over there. Now this time of year, the cedars really haven't started growing too much, but you can definitely see on the ends of some of the, the, the newest growth is going to be on the ends. And brightly colored. You want to avoid any of the, uh, the, uh, the green. The old green, green stuff. This bush looks like it's doing quite well. I'm gonna grab a handful here. Don't need too much. Some new shoots growing. The greener the better. Nice little handful here. I might blend that with a. Maybe go for with a bit of a mixed drink tonight. Maybe a bit of a mixed drink. So we're going to come over here and check out some of these pine trees. Some of these pine trees have not only the needles, but um, some of the little kind of seed pods, if you will, little buds on the end. And this looks like the one we're going to borrow. Put away my... Oh yeah, I can, get, I can feel the pine pine sap coming out smells good smells like pine so that'll be what it is a little mixed drink a little, a little nightcap and uh we'll call it end to an end to a scrambly day this is kind of a last minute idea but uh certainly one that i've been wanting to do for some time and uh Yeah, I'm going to cross this water without getting wet. No, this is something I wanted to do for some time. And, uh, you know, as I'm preparing for the alone show, um, certainly all these elements are part of your daily, part of your daily work. It's never, never a dull moment. You definitely won't be bored. And, uh, you know, providing you can find food, you'll be in good shape. Ugh. All right. Always a good idea too when you come through some scrub like that. Just give yourself a double check. Make sure you've got your your knife and what you came for. No sooner did I drop that than I find some 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 greenery coming up. Looks like an old some old strawberries. A few dandelions. But we're not we're not up for a sioux. We're just up for a, a little nightcap with a little sweetness. So let's head back to the camp and get this cedar and pine melting down. Again, it's great to be up and an opportunist so I came for one thing but it's kind of like going to the grocery store you know you're going for one thing but sometimes something else will catch your eye and you got to bring it home with you check this out that's a massive sheet of bark and if nothing else it'll block the wind on the one side feels like the wind has changed direction a bit 
still sprinkling, mizzling a little bit. And sometimes having it here, you're sheltered and closed, even with a few sticks, kind of psychologically it feels like you're protected. It doesn't really offer much in terms of protection from the elements, certainly not the wind or the rain, but psychologically you feel enclosed and safe. And when you're by yourself, sometimes it's that's all you need to have a good night's sleep. Almost back to the shelter now. Rain's picking up. We'll get the tea on and uh, call it a night. Maybe show we have some light inside the shelter. On my flashlight has a little bit of charge. Maybe we can show do a few few crafts or something to that effect. But uh, that wind's certainly strong. Pick it up. Here's my right. sterno stove. And again, just to make things a little quicker. I can hear the rain really coming down now. So that'll heat right up. And we're going to drop our, you see our breath now. There goes the stove on like that. Look at that. Perfect fit. Oh, I hear the can of geese going over. A few floaties in there, but there'll be some more in a minute. There we go. We'll see how long this takes. Certainly if it was covered it might be a little faster, but we'll uh, we'll see how long that warms up. See if it takes any of the flavor. It'll be a nice little nightcap. Okay, here we are. Well, the rain's coming down and the light's disappearing. We're just having a quick cup of tea and uh, we'll call it a night. Feels pretty comfy in here. You can see your breath. But I think once I get tucked in for the night, I, uh, I should be in good shape. Feels good. I'm excited. This is fun. All right. Well, I'll let you know how this tea tastes once it gets going. Good morning. The turkeys woke me up. They're clucking and carrying on down there. I think it's about six o'clock. It's cold. Kind of was like a drizzly, freezing rain all night. Well, I'm warm. I'm warm all the way through. It's great. My, uh, I pulled my boot liners into my sleeping bag just now to. Warm them up. I think they're a little damp, but I might get a bit of a fire going and try to dry them out a little bit. I could use a drink. I'm kind of thirsty. And the wind has not stopped all night. Other than that, we're good. Just have to take my time and get packed up and then uh, 86 more days well I'm gonna get some uh, water boiling and try to get a hot drink in here. no animals last night man I had some funny dreams
Not funny, haha, -ha, just weird. I don't know if that was a tea I had before bed. But really, really bizarre. Oh well. Night's over, day's here. Let's go have some fun.